Leonardo once again, back with another mobile suit to take under the microscope. And we're going to be off into Space Ace match, utilizing the Psycho Zaku from the uh, Mobile Suit Gundam series Thunderbolt, which, to be honest, I'm not really a fan of. Um, the only thing I like about it is the title. It sounds really good. So anyway, Saku Zaku in the game, however, Battle Operation 2, is most definitely a shooting type. It has ballistic resistance and beam resistance pretty high up, got 24 uh, or 26 when it's leveled up. But its melee is incredibly low. I've only got a value of 6 on there, so as I said, you got to keep away from your opponent and you're going to be shooting a lot. And with all the weapons at this thing's disposal, which is double bazookas, Double storm files, double machine gun, and then one big bazooka. Uh, yeah, you've got enough guns to last your lifetime. Because by the time one runs out, you've most probably got another one that's ready to go. The bazooka, however, does keep you locked in place if you're going to be charging it. So, when I was using it, I found out it was much better to just use the bazooka, just tap fire it and then switch to something else or uh, use the double bazookas to stun the opponent and then just fire off another shot if you're lucky enough to get in though um, and sneak in with your heat hook you do have the melee combo controller so you can actually do two hits I wouldn't really advise it because this is a big chunky boy uh, I mean the suit's big enough as it is but it's carrying this <laughs> as you can see on the back now this whacking huge booster on the back uh, and it doesn't have the, like, what's the defensive thing? Uh, well, essentially, it does, the, the buffers, that's it. It doesn't have the buffer on the back for, for the actual booster itself. So, although it's an incredibly fast suit, I think its value is 145 movement, which is pretty damn crazy. It, it needs all of that speed it can get. Because you're going to get hit a lot with this thing. And certainly during this ace match as well, because this is pretty much the first time I took it out for a, a sortie as well. I did not want to really get any kills with it, because I didn't want to become the ace. Because that would be very easy to take down. Um, on the other hand though, you do have the maneuver armor, which is very handy. And also the emergency evasion, which I believe is also level 2. Which means that if you use the evasion when you use no boost... You can do two evasions, or you can do an evasion and a tackle. Um, so you can get out of a jam. But really, uh, how I was trying to use it was just flipping to the twin machine guns like this for most of the match, just doing constant damage as uh, support to my friends, uh, and then using the bazookas as the main kind of uh, jumping in. And it was the first attack to stun them. And then hit them with the beam bazooka afterwards. I just can't see standing still long enough to really use the bazooka to its full potential. But every now and then you're going to be able to find a, a way in with that. Certainly, it's going to be a, a going to be a case of picking your shots really. But I don't think I'm really going to be running this suit enough to really get get its full potential out of the suit to be honest. I have to admit though I do like the animations when it's cycling through the other weapons because those sub arms that is kind of a, a Thunderbolt trademark. I do like as well then when it uses the Stormfaust the arms come out and they kind of swing around to get the Stormfaust and it kind of forgets what it's going to do and then it goes again like oh man I gotta get the Stormfaust out that's it. There you go just there. Very odd, um, quirky animation for them. As for this match itself, I was just kind of running around using the superior speed of the suit and just trying to barrage fire all my weapons off at people as I could. Um, not really wanting to go in with the melee, even though it can do the two swings. Especially since I'm such a big target. 
Here I realise I'm pretty much the only guy still out there, just trying to stay alive long enough and um, just utilising all the weapons to try and do as much damage as I could before I die. Luckily I managed to get back to the base. Just as my friends come out, so after all the damage I've done to them, my friends will be there to hopefully capitalise on the damage that I've done, but uh, I won't because I'm dead again. It's got an enemy though, which is good. Good for us. I think early on in this match as well, I think we're only like a minute in, uh, one of the enemies decided to disconnect. I'm not sure quite what was happening there because they were really in the... Uh, lead at the time, I think like 2,000, 3,000 up. So, not sure, not sure what's going on there. And the players were smart enough not to leave that enemy alive with a sliver of health. While we seem to capitalize on the enemy's ace being low on health, which is good. The suit also being a shooting type mainly, even though once again it can still do the two melee, is short, uh, is seen in the hangars because we can increase the range boost there when we take it in. And I think as well it has the additional ones when you modify it. I'll have to double check on that but I think you can. I don't think I'm going to be using the suit enough to ever get those parts but I have to admit it's certainly a fun one to take out every now and then just because it's so different to use and you really don't see this suit too much sorted by anyone. I can understand why you're such a huge target. But even though I'm not a Thunderbolt fan and even though I'm not a real fan of the suit, it's got its quirks. Even if it is just those animations. Coming into the end of the match now. Less than a minute left, but with the ace low on health, may as well dive in and. Yep, we got him. Very good. I think we'll see a little bit of uh, melee action here as well. Yep, stun. Melee hit. Melee hit. Lovely. And just get the bazooka shot in there as well for nearly 3,000 damage. Ace has got the uh, extra enemy down, so might as well just <laughs> steal that kill. It's the end of the match, we'd won it anyway, so add it onto my resume at the end of the match. And that's it. Psycho Zaku. If you got it, try it out. Um, yeah, you might like it. Just be advised you have a big, thick backside that is on show for anyone to shoot at any moment. So try to keep your front to the enemy at all times rather than, you know, turning the suits. Uh, keep that backside covered and you should be able to with all the weapons at your disposal. I'll see you next time.